get into the Medicaid LTSS program so you can even get a paid aid? That's the question for the day. I'm Medicaid. I want to get into this program. Get me a paid aid. How do I do it? Look, my name is Kayan Church. I'm the big hearted caregiver. Stick around to the end and I promise you I'll tell you everything on how to get in. All right. So look. If you don't know me by now, I'm the Delaware District Administrator of Reliable Aid Inc. You know what I mean? What we do is we help financially challenged family members to become paid caregivers through the Medicaid Long-Term Health Care Program. Uh, sometimes people call that LTSS. That's another common word for that. All right. So, you know, it's a big question, man. Like, you know, everybody, you know, everybody needs a little help. And if you need a little help, you probably want somebody to be able to... Uh, come in with a little stability, a little consistency. And in order to do that, they got to be paid. You know what I mean? Ain't nobody stopping by your house regularly unless they get some kind of compensation. And if you at the house and you need somebody, you want the best person that you can get. And the best person you could get is a paid person. So let's get right into it. You know, you Medicaid, you want to know how do I get into this program that actually pays for the caregiver, all right? So you got to excuse me, my allergies are crazy. You know, it's early in the morning. That's how I get with me. But uh, before we do that, before we do that, let's run through a little housekeeping. If you're here with me now, hashtag live. If you're here with me in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. I can't really see when people pop up. No word. I used to like to get a shout outs and stuff, but I, I can't do that right now because Facebook is changing some live stuff that they do. So, you know, if you with me, hashtag live. You know, if you if you if you in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. Look, I love our YouTube followers, you know what I mean? Because they always shout us out. They always say rebroadcast and they tell us. You know, the city and state, where you at? So I need y'all to do that, okay? Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the whole math. I'm going to give you the whole program. I'm going to give you everything. You know what I'm saying? See, this is why they love me. This is why the people love me because I don't mind helping you. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no fun if my friends can't get none. And I need you to get into the program so you can maximize your benefits and, you know, get your health care together. All right. So, look, this is what it is. I'm going to drop it on you real smooth. Um, you already in Medicaid. You already in. You already in. You just got one last little piece, one last little hurdle that you need to overcome, and that's getting into the LTSS program. Now listen, that's simple. That's simple. You know what I mean? All you got to do is put the application in. You know what I mean? Now, I'm going to give you a whole process. Don't think I'm going to just leave out here. But the first thing we need to do is submit the application. Now, this is what I tell people. You want to get your application in and submitted as fast as humanly possible because, you know, ain't nobody going to break their neck for you until they figure out that, that, you know, you got all your paperwork right. All right. So this is what you do. You call the people up and you say, look, Medicaid, I'm trying to get into the LTSS program. Can I get the application sent to me? Now, they're going to give you some kind of rigmarole. They're going to say, uh, you know. We don't do it like that no more. Uh, we're going to have to mail it to you. We, we, you know, they're going to tell you something to try to, you know what I mean? I don't know what their, their goal is because they, I mean, sometimes they're not helpful. But what they're going to do is they're going to give you that speech and then you're going to tell them. You say, well, look, man, I'm trying to get it started as soon as possible. Do me a favor. You know, walk me through what I need to do right now. That way they can get, they can get you into the computer. That's all you're trying to do. Get into the computer. Fill this application out. I got the rest of the steps for you. By the time everything happened. The whole world will be manifested. Trust me. All right. So they're going to say, all right, we're going to put this little bit of information in and then we're going to mail you out the application. You're going to say, all right, sweet. Thank you. So in the meantime, this is what you do. I want you to call your doctor, your primary care physician. PCP is what they call them. All right. Call your PCP and you're going to say, look, doc. I just applied to get into the Medicaid long-term health care program. Now, you're already in Medicaid, so it's no problem. You just move into the program. Now, the reason why I tell you to call your doctor is because you want your doctor on point. Any moves that you make with your health care, any moves that, that, that's going on, it got to go through your doctor. So if you and your doctor's on a first-name basis, when the people call him, you know, he already know what to say. Oh, you talking about church? When they get the call, this your doctor. Oh, you talking about church? Yeah, you need to be in that program. I think it'll very well benefit him. All right? Boom. Now, what you want to do is, I tell people all the time, you got to be friendly with your doctor. Now, when I say friendly, I mean business-wise. You know what I mean? Because doctors, they, they, this, is their, this is their hustle. That's how they get paid. They, they got to see people. So make sure that your appointments are up to date with the doctor. You know what I mean? It's no doctor that's going to help you move forward if he can't get paid on these co-pays. You know what I'm saying? So make it sure, make sure 
you going to your doctor, you're getting your, res your, your regular checkups, whatever it is that you got to do. You know your health care better than me. Make sure you're there. And make sure all your co-pays is paid up because when you're looking for a referral, it's no better way than, you know, having a, a guy that loves you as a customer and then he's going to give you the good reference to get on over there, all right? You're going to call your doctor. Put him on point, all right? Next, after that, what's going to happen is uh, 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 they're going to break your case down into two pieces. The first one they're going to give to a social worker. Now, the social worker is going to do what they call, uh, uh, they're going to make sure your financial eligibility is correct. All right. All right. So they're going to do what's called a, 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 a financial, uh, check out your finances. See what your financial responsibility is going to be for this program. Now, listen, a lot of people, they kind of get scared. But I'm going to tell you, unless, unless something has seriously changed in your income, you eligible. You eligible. Simple as that. You already Medicaid, unless you got a trust fund that just kicked in, unless somebody, your rich uncle died and left you a whole bunch of money, you in. You already in. We ain't got to talk about finances no more, because guess what? You in. All right? Next thing we're going to talk about, they, like I said, they're going to break your application down into two pieces. They're going to give it to the financial expert, and then they're going to get another piece to the nurse. Now, we already talked about the doctor. Now, the reason why we had that good talk about the doctor first is because what the nurse is going to do is she's going to follow up with your doctor. She's going to get what's called a comprehensive medical report from your doctor. Now, all that is, it's just a fancy word for your, your condition. You know what I mean? Now, the doctor knows your condition because you're his patient, all right? And so the doctor is going to look at this and they're going to report to Medicaid, hey, church really does qualify for this program. This is what he needs. All right, this sounds like a great idea. And like I said, you already got the doc in your back pocket because y'all just talk. You know what I mean? Plus, you're paying them copays, remember? All right, so the third and final thing that you need to do to prepare for this is prepare for your interview. Now, this is the third and final step. This is going to get you to the payday. This is the one that's really going to help you personally. It's going to get your hours straight. It's going to make sure that everybody is on the same page. They text me about the dolphins tonight. Listen, man, y'all need to get into this Medicaid long-term health care program because, uh, you know, this is where the people are able to get paid. So later for that football talk tonight, we're going to go through that later. All right. So look, uh, 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 the third and final step I forgot to tell you the name of. It's called the interview process. Now, interview. What is an interview? What is a Medicaid LTSS interview? Because we all know what an interview is, but you ain't trying to get no job right now. What you're trying to get is some help. So what they're going to do is they're going to assign somebody to your case that can talk to you personally. Now, why is this the best part of the process, Casey? This is the best part because I get to talk. I get to tell y'all how I feel today. You feel me? Listen, I'm jacked up. I need some help. You know what I mean? I need, I need help putting my shoes on in the morning, brushing my teeth, making my, uh, my, my bed after I get out of it, uh, ironing my clothes. Uh, I need help with everything. Now, listen, this is the main part I tell people all the time. Do not forget to tell them everything. You know, now look. Don't be like my mom back in the day. My mom, my mom, you know, she used to say things like, oh, I'm all right. I only need a little bit of help and this and this and that. And I'm cool and I don't really need much. Well, guess what? They're not going to give you much because you said you don't need much. So we're going to throw that out the window. If you need a paid caregiver, you need a lot. Don't be afraid to tell them everything. Tell them everything. Let them know everything from the rooter to the to the top to the bottom. And then boom, they're going to bless you with the best and I'm going to turn that person who comes to see you regularly into a paid caregiver. If you're with me, hashtag live. If you're here in a rebroadcast, hashtag rebroadcast. You know, put your city and state down there and let them know where you're watching this, uh, this, this beautiful blessing from that I'm, I'm, I'm giving you today. Because, listen, I'm dropping the jewels. No other healthcare owner is even going to tell you this kind of information. That's what separates reliable aid from them other people. You know, I do what's called walking you to the front door. You know what I mean? Now, that's a, uh, that's a term that we use, you know what I mean, just to let people know, like, how much we love our customers and our, and our insurance members. Because I'm going to walk you all the way to the front door. Now, check this out. 
if you call there and you get some kind of static or resistance or, 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 or they trying to give you a, a, a headache or a hang up and tell you, oh man, it don't work like that and this ain't how it happened. Because you know how Medicaid go. If you ever call that Medicaid line, I think what they tell the people that work the phones is spin the clients. When they call, spin them. Just spin them. Just keep spinning them. And now you all mixed up because they've been spinning you. Listen, don't get spun anymore. If you call Medicaid on the phone and you're getting a hard time, call KC on a three-way. 302-689-3240. 302-689-3240. Why I say call me on a three-way? Because guess what? I do all the talking for you. You know what I mean? Now, it's this thing called HIPAA, and I really can't call down there for you, but... If they know that me and you is friends because you called me on a three-way, I can speak on your behalf while you're on the phone with me. I line it all the way up for you. And then I'll put you with the best agency possible, reliable aid. Now, look, you got any other questions, any other concerns, if you in any of these uh, 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 steps right now, you know, are you trying to get your application through? If you're the kind of person, there's some people that put their application in in January and called me a couple days ago. It was like, yo, I submitted the application in January. We ain't heard nothing. Cool, man. This is what I'm going to do for you. I'm going to call up Medicaid right now find out, number one, who the nurse is on the case. Number two, who the uh, financial worker is on the case. And then guess what? How you doing today? Look, hashtag your name. Hashtag uh, uh, live with KC. Hashtag uh, here in the rebroadcast. Do what you got to do. But look, uh, this thing is serious. This thing is serious. I call down there and get to the bottom of the bag myself. Like, yo, what's going on? You know what I mean? Like I said, HIPAA, HIPAA got them going crazy, so I can't call down there for you. But at the same time, so look, if you need me, don't be afraid to reach out. 302-689-3240. Look, even the people that call me from across the country, it's Medicaid in all 50 states, man. I, I think I've received calls from every state so far. You know, it's crazy, like, you know, how much I'm able to help these people. You know what I mean? Because... Medicaid is jerking people all over, all over the country. And what we do is we want to help. You know what I mean? They're a really good program, but they don't know everything. And sometimes we got to tell them, you know, your side of the story so we can get you the help that you need the most. All right? So, look, if you need me, call me, 302-689-3240. Drop your name. Drop your, your, your loved one's name in the comment. They need a paid caregiver. You know, I, I hook them up. If, if, uh, if your cousin is the caregiver of his mom and, and he needs a paycheck because, you know, we all got a broke cousin that's, that's doing too much. You know what I mean? Tell him, call me. Put his name in a comment and, I, and I'll call him. You feel me? Look, other than that, I got to go. I got to take Pop to his next appointment. I mean, the, the house is, is uh, right around the corner. So we got to go. I love you. You know, uh, don't let anybody shame or blame you to think that, uh, you know, taking care of other people is bad business. When they get to the pearly gates, they ain't even going to know them because they ain't helped nobody but they self. They had their hand in the cookie jar the whole time. And they don't, you know, we ain't like that. We do things that help other people because we care. You know what I'm saying? Reliable aid everywhere because we care. You know what I mean? Something like that. that and, and I ain't even make that one up. They gave us that. All right? So, look, I love you, man. Talk to you soon. Peace.